Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a bonus episode of Smile to Jannah. It's Christmas. I'm sure you guys know that Muslims here in the West love this whole winter festive period. Not because of why it's done but because of three main things to be honest. Number one, if you work on Christmas day you get double pay. Ching ching! <laughs> Number two, thanks to Santa. Santa's coming in town! Santa! Oh my god! In this one month beards become less threatening. And number three, I think you know everyone's favourite, is discounts. But some people have even got shaitan confused during this festive period. It's beginning to look a lot like Eid. Everywhere you go Eid. Take a look at the five and ten. So Muhammad Salah on his Instagram page has posted pictures of him celebrating Christmas with his family and in particular there's a picture of him with his daughter that really caught my eye. Mashallah she's very cute, may Allah protect him and her and his family from the evil eye, Ameen. And of course we know as Muslims we do not partake or celebrate Christmas because there's numerous reasons. Two main reasons are number one how the date December 25th is linked to pagans and number two well just this belief that we have about Isa alayhi salam or Jesus is not congruent with the Christians. So I mean that goes without saying we don't need to necessarily you know really press home the fact that what he's doing is wrong everybody knows that it's wrong. But I guess we can somewhat empathize with the fact that Muhammad Salah is at the peak of his career. Yeah he's surrounded by materialism, he's surrounded by money, yeah desires and all these sorts of things. To be fair with regards to his other posts he does seem to be going through some sort of crisis. There's an advert in which he's uh, together with a woman and there's touching going on and there's another one where you know he's inappropriately clothed. Yeah you can see his aura, you know the obligatory parts of a man that needs to be covered. And let's face it a lot of us go through uh, crisis periods and we need to support each other during that time. Yeah, if someone's on the floor you don't kick them when they're down, you make dua for them, you help with any confusions that they have, you advise them with the best of manners. May Allah use him as an example just like Allah has used Habib Naragomadov as an example. There were two main things that really I wanted to talk about. Number one is actually, and I've heard this from different sources, it's reverts. Yeah, reverts that have accepted Islam and how they are managing during this period because believe it or not they've been celebrating Christmas for years and their family celebrating it so they have to go over and there's certain things they have to make clear they can't, that they can't do, some might not even go over. So whatever the case may be it's not easy, yeah, it's very difficult and yeah may Allah you know reward them, make it easy for them and seeing pictures like this doesn't necessarily help. And of course number two it was the picture with him and his daughter and it just makes me think that the importance of the father as a role model yeah it is not to be looked down upon. The father has a very integral part in a family and here what is the father showing the daughter? Be proud of who you are, do not compromise your religion. No it's exactly the opposite especially at a time where Muslims need to make sure that we have and we stick by our identity. Especially as parents we have a great deal of responsibility to make sure our kids are proud of their faith. Yeah. And doing stuff like this in your homes doesn't necessarily get that across. Let's look at Muhammad Salah. So Muhammad Salah would he be doing this with the Christmas tree if he was back home in Egypt? No chance. So why is he doing it here? Just so he can fit in, just so I mean everybody else is doing it. Kids pick up on these things and these are not the values that we should be getting across. Rather we should be outside making the most of the discount growing the old beard Santa! and quite possibly getting the double pay. Let's leave it there guys until next time. It's beginning to look a lot like Eid. Assalamu alaikum.